Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the angular velocity of the disk is defined by omega equals to 5 t square plus 2 radian per second where t is in seconds. Determine the magnitudes of the velocity and acceleration of point A on the disk when t equals to 0 0.5 seconds. So we are given the angular velocity as a function of time and we are required to find the velocity and acceleration of this point A and the disk is rotating in the counterclockwise direction. So as we know that omega is equal to 5 t square plus 2 radian per second and the relation between the angular velocity and the linear velocity is is given in terms of this relation we have v equals to r times omega so now the angular velocity at t equals to 0 0.5 seconds that will be equal to if we substitute t equals to 0 0.5 in this equation so we will be able to find the angular velocity when t equals to 0 0.5 seconds so the omega at t equals to 0 0.5 seconds will be 5 into 0 0.5 square plus 2 so 5 into 0 0.5 square plus 2 this gives us 3.25 so omega at 0 0.5 seconds is 3.25 radian per second now the radius of the disk is 0 0.8 meter so we can plug in this omega value here so we will be able to find the velocity that is the tangential velocity and the tangential velocity of this point a will be acting like this so this will be the velocity so we can say that the velocity is equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by 3.25 so this is this answer multiplied by 0 0.8 so this gives us 2.6 and now this will be meter per second since this velocity is the linear velocity similarly uh, the change in this uh, tangential velocity will give us the tangential acceleration so we know that the tangential acceleration is equal to dv by dt or we can say that d by dt and v equals to r omega so we can say that d by dt r omega and now since this radius is constant so we can take it outside so we can say that this is the tangential acceleration is equal to r d by dt into omega and d by dt omega this is alpha that is the angular acceleration so we can say that this is r d by dt and omega in terms of t is 5 t square plus 2 so this is r and we have to take the derivative of this 5 t square plus 2 so the, the derivative of this is 10 t plus 0 so this is the tangential acceleration and the tangential acceleration will be now the radius is constant which is 0 0.8 multiplied by 10 multiplied by t we want to find the tangential acceleration at 0 0.5 seconds so we need to substitute t equals to 0 0.5 so this is 0 0.8 multiply 10 multiply 0 0.5 so this gives us 4 so the tangential acceleration of that point a will be 4 meter per second square so this is the tangential acceleration now as we know that there is uh, the tangential acceleration and there is also the normal acceleration which is known as the centrifugal acceleration or we can say the the centripetal acceleration that is always directed towards the center of the circle so we can say that this will be the normal acceleration and the normal acceleration is is we know that that is equal to v square divided by rho and rho is the radius of curvature since rho is constant here the radius of curvature is constant it's the the curvature is circular all around so this rho will be equal to r so we can say that this is equal to v square divided by r or we can say that the normal acceleration we know that uh, v is again r omega so if i substitute it here so that is r omega 
square divided by r or we can say this is r square omega square divided by r one r will cancel out so we will have the normal acceleration equal to r omega square now we want to find the normal acceleration when t equals to 0 0.5 seconds so we can substitute the r value and the omega value at that particular instant so we can say that the normal acceleration is equal to 0 0.8 into 3.25 square so this is 0 0.8 multiplied by 3.25 square this gives me the normal acceleration equals to 8.45 meter per second square and now the resultant acceleration will be we can find that resultant acceleration um, by always using the pythagorean theorem so we can say that the acceleration will be equal to a t square plus a n square under the square root so a t is 4 4 square plus 8.45 square will give us the resultant acceleration this is 4 square plus 8.45 so this gives me the resultant acceleration equals to 9.35 meter per second square so now we can say that the tangential acceleration is acting like this this is the uh, this is the tangential acceleration and this is the normal acceleration this is the tangential this is the normal and if we sum both of them by the head to tail root that will give us this result and so a n plus a tangential so the direction is somewhat like this so we can say that this is the acceleration the resultant acceleration which is 9.35 meter per second square so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that the angular acceleration of the disk is defined by this function alpha equals to 3 t square plus 12 radian per second where t is in seconds if the disk originally rotating at 12 radian per second determine the magnitude of the velocity and the normal and tangential components of the acceleration of point a on the disk when t equals to 2 seconds so we are given this disk and we have to find the velocity and acceleration of this point a if the disk is initially rotating with 12 radian per second so this means that we are given the angular acceleration as a function of time so this means that with time the acceleration is increasing right the the disk is accelerating so we can say that alpha is equal to 3 t square plus 12 and the units of this is radian per second this is in radian per second now at t equals to 2 we can find alpha by substituting this t value equals to 2 seconds so alpha at t equals to 2 second will be 3 into 2 square plus 12 so this will be 3 into 4 12 plus 12 is 24 so this is 24 radian per second when t equals to 2 second so this is the um, angular acceleration after t equals to 2 seconds now we know that alpha is d omega by dt the rate of change of angular velocity is equals to the angular acceleration so that is 3 t square plus 12 and we can write it is d omega 3 t square plus 12 into dt and since we want to find omega in terms of t we need to integrate this now we need to integrate this uh, left hand side from omega naught to omega and this is from 0 to t since at t equals to 0 the omega value is 12 so we can say that omega naught is 12 radian per second so now when we integrate this this will cancel out and we will have omega from 12 to omega equals to the integration of 3t square will be 3t cube divided by 3 plus 12t 
3 will cancel out we will be left with t cube so this is t cube plus 12t and the units of this will be radian per second now we need to put uh, we will have also the limits from 0 to t so if we substitute t we will get this and minus 0 so t cube plus 12t minus 0 and similarly we need to put these limits so we will have 12 uh, omega minus 12 equals to t cube plus 12t and we can write that the angular acceleration in terms of t is t cube plus 12t plus 12. so now this is the angular velocity as a function of time now omega at t equals to 2 seconds will be we need to substitute t equals to 2 so 2 to the power 3 plus 12 into 2 plus 12 so this will be 2 to the power 3 is 8 plus 12 into 2 is 24 plus 12 this gives us 44 so omega is equal to 44 radian per second and this is also when t equals to 2 seconds so this is the angular velocity at t equals to 2 seconds now we want to find the tangential acceleration so we know that the tangential acceleration is always equal to r alpha and to find the tangential acceleration at t equals to 2 seconds we know that point a this point a is at a distance of 0.5 meters from the axis of rotation so this means that the radius for for point a is 0 0.5 and we know alpha at t equals to 2 seconds which is 24 so 0 0.5 into 24 is 12 so the tangential acceleration will be 12 meter per second square and similarly the normal component of the acceleration is always equal to r omega square and that is a n now we know r is 0 0.5 omega we know omega at t equals 2 seconds which is 44 so 44 square so the normal component of the acceleration is so this is 968 meter per second square now if if someone asks to find the resultant acceleration so the resultant acceleration will be can always be determined by using the pythagoras theorem so we can say that the resultant acceleration will be a t square plus a n square under the root under the square root so a t is 12 so 12 square plus 968 square So this gives us 968.07 which is approximately equal to 968 so let me write this as 968.1 meter per second square so when the when the disc is initially rotating at 12 radian per second the angular acceleration after t equals 2 second is 24 radian per second and omega the angular velocity after two seconds is 44 radian per second the tangential acceleration is 12 meter per second square and the normal acceleration is 968 meter per second square so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe ingenious academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler dynamics